Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up, but what do we have for Taurus for the week of January 18th through the 24th? For a sun, moon, rising, and Venus, one card for an overall energy, please. What do we have for Taurus? Hermit. Hermit is about going within, reflecting, planning your next move. So you may be doing a lot of planning. You may be doing your own thing this week, okay? I think you're going within, you're reflecting, you you may be... Um, Gaining some insight on a matter looks to me as though you're starting to see something though with this hermit card It feels like you are um, It feels like you're you're coming out of a darkness, you know, this is enlightenment I think that you've been enlightened you may have been in a time of reflection You may still be going within you're probably planning it looks like you've come up with a plan though by the look It looks like you are it looks like you're on the move to me. It does, but it looks like you're, you know, typically the hermit is in the cave and I feel like you're still in the cave, but you're getting ready to step out. I feel like you're getting ready to go in a new direction, you know, to, to, you know, step out of this space, whatever space that you've been in. I feel like you've realized your true identity I've, or you are in the process of realizing your true identity. It is definitely time for you to listen to yourself and listen to yourself only i do believe there is somebody that is against you so you do want to be careful we have somebody here that isn't happy with your um path you know the path that you have chosen to take so i do believe that you you probably have somebody that may you know you may have a troublemaker that is lurking around you and so you need to be aware of that um, what do we have for Taurus? I feel like you have gained a lot of wisdom through some sort of experience. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a Jesus consciousness here. I think that you have raised your, your consciousness, um, and you've become enlightened. And now, you know, you definitely are, are, are about ready to step out of a situation. You're right on the edge, right? You're right on the edge of the, you know, you're right at the doorway, put it that way. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Horse, short journey. You may be going on a journey. Maybe you're planning that journey. I don't know. Um, but you are probably feeling tied down and frustrated. But you're about to... I feel like, I feel like you're right on the... I, I just heard on the edge of glory. Right on the, I mean, you are, you've, you've been in a period of thinking, right? And I feel like you're done. I feel like you're, you're, whatever is happening, it's a big change. You're, you're, you're about to step out of this darkness right into the light put by the looks of things. Um, what do we have for Taurus? Six of Swords reverse. Now this is trouble. This is trouble. So you may be dealing with some trouble this week. Six of Swords reversed. So that is refusing to take a new approach. Somebody is refusing to take a new approach. They're stuck. They're stuck. Definitely tied down or frustrated with the Six of Swords reverse. Hmm. Ace of Cups reversed. So that's sadness of some sort. Let's get some more cards. Emperor. There's, you know, I wonder if somebody's trying to hold you back. There could, because, you know, there's some sort of sadness. I don't know if you're dealing with a father figure, you know. Um, you could be because the, the, the hero font. Or the, Yes, the hero fought represents a father, but the emperor does too. So I'm not sure if you are dealing with a father figure that is trying to control things, or there could be sadness over a father figure, um, some something like that. We may, we may have somebody here that is 
very, very controlling that has deserted you or something like that. You may be in a time of reflection right now. You may be going through a time of reflection or you may need to go go within. May have something to do with somebody that is trying to control you. You know, the emperor in reverse is somebody that is uh, corrupt. You know, they only look out for themselves. They're power hungry. They're controlling. They're entitled. They're on the wrong side of the law. They're manipulative. This could be a narcissist, could be a tyrant, somebody that's very bossy. You know, maybe maybe you're realizing something about this person. Maybe there's a lack of love there and it's emotional, you know, or there could be an, an emotional loss with the Ace of Cups reversed. Um, and this is, this is in mental turmoil, okay? So I feel like you are going to be in some sort of mental turmoil this week. I just got to be honest with you. And you may need to go within to heal because the hermit is about healing. Or you may need to just take a time out from the world to deal with this trouble. I don't know what the trouble is, but uh, whatever. Anyhow, it's probably expected by the looks of things. Anyhow, um, Emperor Reverse is somebody that is not on your side. You know, this person may have deserted you or abused you in some way. There's a lack of love, a lack of emotion. There could be a lot of tears that are being shed. This is refusing to take a new approach, needing to go in a new direction. Somebody needs to go, but they're having a hard time doing it. Um, mm. Uh, you know, you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't take responsibility. They're not very experienced, but they like to be in control. This is somebody that is power hungry. You're dealing with somebody that is power hungry. Um, King of Cups. Now, I'm talking about this over here. Now we're moving on to the future. So, um, you may be emotional over a father figure. As I mean, I know I already said that, but you could have a father figure that deserted you. Or there could be daddy issues here. You know, where somebody's father didn't really take care of them, didn't love them like they should have. You know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, King of Cups. King of Cups is a very feeling individual um, in the future. So you do have somebody in the future that is very feeling, very loving, very generous, very kind, that is thinking about love this person is thinking about love they're given to act on their feelings seven of wands admitting defeat somebody's going to be admitting their defeat stepping down from something giving up giving up a battle giving up a fight in the near future and it may be because of their feelings maybe because of their their heart their heart intuition some i do feel like there's a jesus consciousness here and somebody's intuition is Telling them what they need to do. Maybe they need to stop. Uh, I don't know. This is corruption. Some Because this is stop something. Um, stop. Avoiding challenge. What the hell is going on? Now this is about. In, in the upright. It is dealing with a lot of opposition. This is giving up. It's, it is. It's giving up. It's stepping down. Admitting defeat. So somebody could be admitting their defeat. They may be stepping down. They may be like, you know, this is too much. This is too much because of that six of swords reverse. Too much trouble. Ooh, devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, or a Virgo. Um, tied to a situation because of codependency, because of greed, because of you know, it looked good. So if somebody is definitely very, very controlling in your reading. They are very codependent. They don't, they, they, they can't be alone or they don't like to be alone. They may have gotten themselves into a codependent uh, situation because, you know, their ego and their pride needed to be fed. Um, I do believe that there's lust here, there's greed, there's materialism, there's control, there's power and control. You are going to be tempted. 
You are going to be tempted this week. You're going to be tempted to by somebody that is very loving. This person, well, they, they say they are anyway, but all is not as it seems because of the devil card. The devil is ruled by the shadow, so the shadow is not what you get. I mean, I can make my fingers look like a duck on the wall, okay? That's the shadow, okay? But they're actually my fingers. They're not a duck, okay? So we the devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. You're going to be tempted by somebody who... You know, speaks of love. This person speaks of love. They're charming. Very, very romantic. This is a romantic. You may be charmed. Somebody may be trying to charm the pants right off of you. <laughs> but I feel like you may be wise enough to know better. Anyhow, for some of you, not everybody, uh, wisdom comes with age. And I know some people don't believe that. It comes with age and life experience put together. Okay, but... You notice in that Harrow, or that I keep calling it the Harrow font, the the Hermit card is it's an older person on there. So that's that's somebody that has gained wisdom through time. Okay, gained experience. You know, with age. You know, age has made them wiser. So anyway, we have a. I think that you're going to have to reflect on the experiences that you have learned and probably. Um, you know, you're probably going to have to decide whether you want to, you know, get involved with this uh, trouble or you want to keep, you know, moving in the direction that you have been moving in. I feel like you've been do done a lot of healing with that. With, I mean, the hermit is healing. It's a very healing energy. I feel like you are going to be propositioned by somebody. I do. That, um, I don't know, maybe this person... Um, is needing some attention because they're unloved or, you know, they've been neglected or they've been discarded by somebody else. I do feel like you need to be careful this week. Um, the devil is lust, greed, materialism, ego, codependency. Uh, you're going to be tempted. You are definitely going to be tempted by somebody. Um, hmm. I feel like somebody is watching you as well. They're watching you. Uh, I think I already said that. They may not want you to move on with the Six of Swords reverse. They may not want you to move on. They're very emotional. There could be tears here. There could be some tears that are shed. I do feel like with the Emperor reverse, you've got to be very careful. This person has ego. This person, uh, whoever this person is, they... Uh, I don't know. They're feeling defeated. They're feeling defeated in some way. Ooh! Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. Queen of Swords. And, and the thing is, is, the Queen of Swords in reverse is, is somebody that is hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. You may, your heart may get involved. You may, you may have feelings for this person. With the Queen of Swords reverse, you may have some sort of feelings for this person. You may, you may, you know, really, really be tempted to go down this path. You're going to be tempted by something that, you know, you're probably not going to be able to, you're going to have to, whether you use your head or your heart, you know, it may not be logical, but your heart may be involved. So I do feel like you are going to be tempted this week by and you know some of this person may be coming in and they may be apologizing you know and saying i love you but i'm not sure that it's love it could just be lust or codependency or a need you know for an ego boost of some sort um now when you get the queen of swords reversed you may not have learned your lesson you know, you've done a lot of healing or maybe you need to go within and think about you. Obviously, the hermit is about going within to think about something. You're going to have to be thinking about, you know, it looks like it, it could be toxic. I mean, the devil could be an unhealthy connection that you really, really, really need to think about. So I do feel like you're going to be receiving some sort of offer from somebody that, you know, you need to think about. Use your intuition, please. Use your gut. I feel like, you know, um, 
you will know what you need to do. I feel like there's, 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 you know, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it coming. You're going to feel what you need to do. I think that, uh, There's a lot of deep feelings here. There's deep feelings here for between two people, but I think a lot of it is based on all the wrong things, you know? Maybe this person loves you, but they have codependency issues or they have a dark side or something like that. And I feel like I feel like you're going to have to uh Listen to your gut this week in regards to a proposal that you are going to get as to whether you want to take it or not. So I think it's going to be on your mind thinking about whatever this proposal is. Good luck.